Okay, so what you should have is, um, the, look at the diagram up here. Mm -hmm. You should see, you should have that diagram. Uh, so I see. Do all of it? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Right. So now the next thing you need to look, look at is the length of the nose. Okay, and how, how much space you have from the eye to the tip of the nostril. And again, looking at your own face is a good way of seeing that. Okay, the next line you want to look at is the line from the nostril to the top part of the lip. And I'm talking about where the V is. Yeah. Okay. Because the, the bottom, the, the upper part of the lip is above the line. The lower part of the lip, the lip is below that line. Now, what these lines are are called guidelines, and guidelines are really a good thing to have when you're drawing something like this, okay. because <clears throat> it's easy for you to see. Remember, we talked about shape relation, relation to one shape to another. So, in other words, <clears throat> when you're looking at that face and you're seeing the symmetrical line, you can actually tell how much space there is on one side and the other side. And you can also, when you draw the eyes, when you put the eyes in, you can actually see that those eyes are the same size, okay? And that helps you to do that, is those guidelines, okay? So guidelines is a good thing to have when you're drawing. Okay. Is that so, too close to level? No, that's actually okay. good. I mean, these two. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's too close, okay. yeah. You need to bring it down. <clears throat> because you don't want a long chin. You see the space from the bottom part of the lip to the to the chin. You don't want the, the chin to be really long. Um, you want to be real careful with that. You don't want it to be short. You don't want it to be too short, but you don't want it to be too long either. Like here. Now remember the top lip. The top part of the lip is right here. Okay. The next thing you want to look at, at is drawing. <clears throat> I do it this way because it just helps me to draw the face better, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I start with the nostrils. I start with the curve of the nostril. If I do the curve of the nostril, then I automatically go from the curve of the nostril up above the eye, which then creates the eyebrow. Okay. What okay. about the line at the top of the brow? Yeah, that's actually where the brow is. Should I there's space. There's space from the top lid to to where the brow is. So make sure you have space between there too. And now I put hair going on. You know, it's like it's almost covering the eyebrow. But basically, I did that because you can see that that's the brow line. The brow line is what I said about the hair being, you know, up right on the skull of the head, mm -hmm. right on the head. Okay. <clears throat> Start with the nostrils. Mm -hmm. Now look at the shape of the nose. The shape of the nose. If you do those little curve of the nostrils, and you do just a little bit of curve up, see the little curve? Mm -hmm. That creates the shape of the nose. Then you bring the lines up. Now, when I told you about the shading, when you do a drawing like a portrait painting or whatever. You don't do lines. But in order to understand the shape of the nose, you do you do the lines, okay? So stay with the lines for now. It's the same thing with the mouth. You can tell that the mouth shape, there's two ways of doing a mouth. One is with lines, the other one is with shape. So all this is like I said, real mechanical and real basic. But these are important. Okay. You want to do both? Did you do both? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, now do, do the nose. Just do the nose okay. and bring it up. Bring it up. Make sure that the nose is wide enough, but not too wide. Looking at your own nose is good, but also looking at the diagram. And also looking at the middle line. How much distance do you have between, say for instance, the nostrils, the middle line, and the two sides of the nose? How much space is there? You see, that's called negative space too. It's like when you're looking at, um, say, a shape, and you're looking at a shape beside it, 
and there's, there's also this line there, you're looking at what's called negative shape, negative space. Negative space is kind of like the shape that's over beside that line. I had a real hard, I had a real hard time understanding negative space mm -hmm. when I was taking art, because it just sounded too weird. Yeah. How can why, how can there be negative space? But all it means is the shape around the shape. That's what negative space is. Like for us, this is negative space right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, next, next thing you want to look at is um, after you get the eye shapes in. Now, look at the eye shape. The eye shape is like um, an ellipse, okay? Now, when you draw an eyeball and you start with just drawing the eye, you start with a whole circle. You start with a sphere first. But in drawing, say, a face like this, you start with an ellipse shape, a shape of an elliptical shape. Okay, so you want to show, you want to draw the elliptical shape. Inside that is the iris. Inside that is the pupil. If you want to put some light, that's basically a light shape over there, like the highlight mm -hmm. shape. Okay, you also want to see the lid. The lid is actually enclosing it because you don't want so much of the eyeball to show. If you look at your own eye, the lid covers your ball, the ball of your eye. Because if it didn't, you'd be staring. You know, you'd be like, well, you know, like your eyes would just wait. Be, it really makes you look weird when you don't have any lid. Okay. And that's where the eyelashes go, too. See how the eyelashes mm -hmm. go underneath and yeah. come out? Yeah. Do you want me to go ahead and do the eyebrow? No, I want you to do the eyes first. Okay. We'll do the eyes first and then... Um, and you might even start with just the basic shapes. Basic shape of the eyes, basic shape. Put everything as the end of the basic shape and then do the um, the hair of the the hair of the eyebrows because really the eyebrows aren't shapes as such they're little hairs mm -hmm. but I want you to stay with the basic shape first and this this is what you'll be practicing in between classes over and over and over because it's like anything else if you practice it automatic it becomes automatic after a while you begin to see it more. And um, then you can actually do your own faces. Okay, the eye is not big enough. Because look how, look how small it is, look how much space you have. That eye needs to be bigger. And a look at the big nose. Mm -hmm. So you need to look at the nose. In relation to the nose, that eye is too, too small. Mm -hmm. So the eye needs to go, the top part needs to go here, the bottom part needs to go here. There needs to be like that much space. See the space? Mm -hmm. That much space before the eyes start. Okay, you need to make an eye about that big because you've got this much space over here for another eye, this space here for another eye. Space eye, eye. Okay? So make sure your eyes big enough. I mean, yes, you're right. In fact, eyes are all different too. Some people have really big eyes. Some people have small eyes. Some eyes are further apart. Like when you see models, you know, their eyes are like further apart. And supposedly that's a good thing for models is that their eyes have to be kind of further apart. It gives them more expression. Um, but, you know, everybody's eyes are different. But generally, that's what you look, need to look at, is the size of the eye. And after a while, after you do this a while, um, you'll actually be able to see when you're not in proportion. Now, the other thing you need to look at is trying to get this eye the same as that. Just, um, and if you, look at, if you look at that line, see if you look at this line here, this line here will help you to do that. This is what you need to look at. This, not the lid, but this part here and this part here. Because this, if you do that, then if you look at where the line is in relation to the two parts of your eye, you'll be able to do the other eye. Exactly. And that's why the guidelines are good. It helps you to see better.